Welcome to part 8 of the Tiny Home Design Series using Revit 2025. This video series is being used as a tutorial to Revit 2025 for civil engineering and architecture. In this video we're going to take a look at creating the set of construction drawings to help us document the design of our tiny home. The creation of A101 the title sheet and A102 elevations is going to be what we do at the, by the time we finish out this video. So what we're going to take a look at is in our project browser we're going to start off by if you're on a floor plan or even in the 3D view we're going to scroll down and find that we have A101 the title sheet in this category called sheets all. I'm going to go ahead and double click on A101 the title sheet and this has our custom title block that I have made for our file that's for our school and for the owner I'm gonna go ahead and just double click on it and change that to my name so you'll want to put your name in there and that will be where all subsequent drawing sheets will have your name in there as well okay I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we're on the annotate tab so if you go ahead and click on that this is gonna be where we do a lot of our work so for our drawings we're gonna be doing a lot of annotations so here we're gonna go ahead and go to the text tool and right now I just have a in leader I just have no leader I'm just gonna do a text option under the properties I have a few different options quarter inch aerial eighth inch or 330 seconds I'm gonna go ahead and start with 330 seconds I'm just gonna click to place the starting of a text box you're gonna see it's kind of kind of small but I'm gonna at least get the um, name of our project called tiny house design I'm gonna zoom in here get that typed out and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just either gonna hit close or I can right click and say cancel so we do want to keep the changes to the text note and I'll say it one more time so where I can hit escape so then that way uh, or even the click in the modify button one of those few methods will get you to the same spot I'm gonna select my text and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna change the type over to maybe an eighth inch aerial which goes up a little bit bigger and maybe a quarter inch quarter inch is the biggest and maybe what we want to do is actually create a larger text size so I'm actually going to go over here to edit type and anytime that we're going to edit a type we always want to make sure we're going to duplicate so we're going to create a new text size I'm going to actually create two of them while we're here so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the two we're going to have a quarter inch aerial let's go ahead and do half inch aerial select OK and on the text size down here you're going to change the size to one half inch and that's the only thing we're going to change and we're going to go ahead and say apply and while we're in here we're going to do one more we're going to duplicate again we're going to duplicate this half inch aerial we're going to make this now three fourths aerial select OK change our text size to three fourths click apply and go ahead and select OK now since the three fourths aerial was the last thing we said OK to that's the size of it I'm going to select the type selector and click half inch aerial and I can see the size I kind of like the three-quarter inch aerial for this and I can always use the little move on the corner if I need to rotate it I can do that or if I need to lengthen out my text box if it's like looks like this you can always drag and get that all on one single line so I'm gonna like that right there at the top of our page and what we're gonna do now is we're going to go ahead and set in I'm gonna go ahead and actually move this over up here in the upper right hand corner of the drawing we usually do something called a sheet index it's kinda like a table of contents so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the text tool this setting I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose the quarter inch aerial we'll see if this setting will work and I'm gonna go ahead and click right about here and we'll go ahead and type sheet index I'll hit enter I'm gonna go ahead and put in a 101 is going to be the title sheet a 102 elevations a 103 is going to represent our floor plan a 104 a furniture plan a 105 sections and a 106 is going to have our schedules now a few things we can do while we have this text box open is I'm actually going to highlight all of this stuff that's underneath the sheet index heading I'm going to go ahead and italicize it and for the sheet index I'm gonna go ahead and hi highlight that row and I'm gonna bold and italicize and let's go ahead and underline it we're gonna go ahead and hit all three 
and uh, you can see you can do some other things like bolded lists or uh, you can increase indents kind of like in Word you can create uh, superscripts and subscripts all kinds of different things I'm just gonna go ahead and select close and right click cancel twice to get off the text tool there's our sheet index we're gonna go ahead and kind of move that over here's the tiny house design and the last element we're gonna add in is I'm gonna grab that rendering that tiny house exterior rendering I'm gonna click hold down on that in title and you're gonna see I get a plus sign and when I let go of it I can actually click to place that rendering now a few little things that we can do to adjust this so I would like to make this a little bit larger so in order to do that I'm gonna double left click on the on the view you're gonna notice that the rest of this kinda of goes grayed out and I can't really select anything but if I click on the picture I get this blue dashed X that shows up and I'm actually gonna go ahead and drag the corner to resize and I'm actually going to reposition our image and when I double left click off in the white space you're gonna see there's our picture now the only thing is is we do have a view label that comes along with it so if I kinda hover over I can grab it by itself so but when I select both when I select the view it's gonna move both of them see how it kinda moves both together so I'm actually going to click off move this over and then go ahead and get this positioned click off one more time grab my view label and you're gonna notice that the lines a little short it should go all the way across the bottom in order to get this to work correctly number one I might want to bump this up just a little closer to my image but in order to get the uh, line length put out to here I gotta click on the image and I get a little blue dot that shows up and I can drag that out to the length that I want click off of it and there we go and I can actually go ahead and move my image I can reposition my title if I want and if I double left click off in case I'm activated on any view there we go so this is going to be a 101 the title sheet usually they end up having some renderings they can have some other information on the front like where's the location uh, the address of the site of where we're going to be building and all that kind of stuff but for us we're just going to go ahead and just do a simple title sheet with a title showing you how to use the text tools how to put a rendering in there how to adjust the rendering and how to adjust the view label that you have below the rendering and being able to make some changes with the text tool so that's a 101 the title sheet I'm gonna do one more sheet before we finish up and I'm gonna go down here to my project browser you're gonna see that it has sheets all a 101 title sheet and you'll see that it has the rendering with it If I click the minus sign next to the sheet it just shows the, the sheet name which is what I kinda like to keep this nice and organized but I'm going to go ahead and right click on sheets all and I'm going to say new sheet I'm going to make sure that B 11 by 17 is selected or highlighted and I'm going to say OK you're going to see here it's going to give us now if for some reason like like right now mine says A 107 yours will probably say A 102 but I can right click on the the name of it and I can select rename I can actually change the number to what I want it to be as long as there's not another sheet that has the same number and I'm gonna name this to be elevations and you'll see the name will change here and the drawing sheet number will also show, uh, change there in the corner so what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna go over here and on my elevations I'm gonna grab the and hold down on the east elevation and drag that onto the sheet and I'm gonna go ahead and click to place it now here's what you're gonna notice is it comes in with a huge view the other thing too is we only want the tiny home being represented we don't need to show the trees or the topo solid or anything else that we may have so we just really want just the tiny home design so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to double click onto the view and the view is gonna now be active so that way I can't select anything on the title block but I'm actually kind of editing the view right here on the sheet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to the visibility graphics and select edit and I'm gonna turn off some of the things that I don't need so I can always scroll down to the different categories so like here if I just or if I press like the P key on my keyboard it drops me down to the P's and I can uncheck planting select apply and I can also do something like topo solid and select apply and I can go ahead and select OK and notice how that cleans up a lot of what we have going on 
Now, another thing I like to do is the level lines. So notice how these are the levels, the level lines that we have going there. I can actually kind of shorten these. And the way that I do that is I go down here to my view and I click on show crop region. The crop region, if I select the outside of the box and grab these little blue grips, I'm going to bring these in closer to the building themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and bring those in. Do the same thing on the other side. You're going to notice it's going to shorten those level lines. We don't want to get rid of them. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down a little closer. Now the one thing I will probably do is I am going to drag this up so that way it's above this grade level because we really don't need to represent the grade in this. And if I put it right on that line, you'll notice it'll still show up. I'm actually going to drag that up just a little bit more and just below the the steps. You can see I'm really close to the bottom of the steps. But it got rid of the, it's hiding now that grade level. I'm actually going to turn off the crop region and I'm going to double left click off into the white space. Now when I hover over this I only get the view for what I have. And right now this view is set to a quarter inch equals a foot. I think we're going to be able to work with this for this sheet. We're going to see if we need to adjust it. But let's go ahead and look at that. The view label is really out of whack, so that's a technical term. Uh, we're really going to go ahead and make some adjustments to that. So I'm actually going to click off of the view and I'm just going to select just the view label. So kind of like how we did on the first page, it reacts the same way. Now this is usually what drives a lot of people nuts is I don't have the blue dot to shorten this line. And how do I get that to show up? Just go up here and click on the view. Blue dot shows up. I can shorten it. I want to make sure that it's right underneath these level lines at the end so that way it encompasses the entire view when I click off of it there we go we've got our east elevation so I could keep repeating that process so like here if I drag the north elevation over and if I click to place it you're gonna see it's gonna be the exact same thing so I'm gonna activate the view I'm gonna press VV on my keyboard or the V key twice V is in violet and I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the planting as well as the topo solid. Just like how we did before and select OK. I can go ahead and sh show the crop region. Bring the crop region in, remembering we're just editing that view. So I can go ahead and do that. Drag all that in same thing I'm gonna actually drag this up just a little bit taller to hide that grade and then I'm gonna go ahead and sh uh, click on show crop region to hide it double click now I can go ahead and move this up here when I get close to lining up with the other one see the blue tracking line the blue dash line and how my cursor snaps into place that's making sure that those views are lined up so that's what we want right there same thing if I grab if I click off of the view and then I grab the view label. I can also track off of the previous one. So if I ho hover over and put it right there, there's where I can see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit. And I'm gonna select the view, grab that blue dot, drag it in, and there we go. We've got our east and north elevations set up and they're all lined up together. The tops of the roofs line up, the bottoms of the of the building lineup, the same thing with the bottoms of the stairs. So we always want to make everything look nice and neat. Okay, or the other option is if I go to my south elevation, I can actually, if I just double click on the south elevation, I can do the exact same steps, open up my visibility graphics, uncheck planting, uncheck that topo solid, say okay, turn on my crop region, make my adjustments as I need, just like how I've done in all the other elevation views previous two that we've done together I can hide that crop region that's all good to go I'm gonna do the same thing with the west elevation just repeating the exact same steps opening visibility graphics hiding the things we don't want to see in this case planting and topo solid or anything else we might have showing our crop region and cutting this down to that way we can only see what we want to see in this case which is just the design of the tiny home
and I'm gonna go ahead and hide that crop region we're good to go I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my title sheet or actually my elevation is drawing I should say I'm gonna drag the south elevation right underneath the north it's gonna be a lot more manageable now and I can actually drag it where when I'm right underneath I'll be able to hopefully be in line with everything that looks pretty good you'll notice the view label adjusted to match what we what we need and I can drag the west elevation over see I can get the tracking line to show up and click and here's where we have our four elevations all set at quarter inch equals a foot looks pretty good and we're able to kind of move forward and in the next video we'll look at adding two more sheets into our sheet set and uh, continue to document the design of our tiny home for this particular activity in civil engineering and architecture.